What's going on, y'all? Apostle C right here at NRB, and we are still bringing you people who are highlighting Christ, who are actually using their gifts and their talents that God has given them in order to Lord God. So, you know, just to make the world a better place, also to bring you education, understanding, and things that you may have not known. I am here with Yoganon Marcelino, and he is the director, producer. He is the owner of the film, The Identical. Some of you may have already seen it, but this is what God is doing. Yoganon, thank you for being here with us. It's a great pleasure. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, you're doing music. It, it, so many things in your background, because it's not only the film, it's the music, but we want to get to that in a few minutes, because, you know, you were telling me some things that is so inbred, so inside of you that it can't help but get it out. You know, you have a huge heritage. Uh, and, and when we take, take a look at being here in uh, Nashville, music is the thing. But being here at NRB and dealing with film, dealing with the, the visual medium of things. Talk to us about, first of all, how you got into that arena, being that your background is so much into the music. Well, like you said, you know, music in my background. I grew up in the, um, uh, with a, a famous father uh, who was a record producer uh, in the 70s with Motown, Jerry Marcellino, produced uh, Michael Jackson's first number one record, Rockin' Robin, in 1972. And uh, all the big Motown acts of the 70s, Diana Ross, The Supremes, Lionel Richie, you name it, he did it, Smokey Robinson. Uh, so uh, it was sort of inbred in me early mm -hmm. on. And uh, by the time I hit the mid-70s and got out of high school, bang, man, I'm going <laughs> record business, you know. I can do this. Right, you know? right, exactly. I yeah. can do this, you know. But, uh, but uh, the Lord got a hold of my life uh, at age 24 and... Uh, and as Neil Young said, 24 and there's so much more, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, uh, I began to dedicate everything I did to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, at that mm -hmm. point. Uh, got involved also in the Christian record industry, uh, but, but kept, my, kept tabs on the mainstream the whole time. Uh, was involved with the, the rock group Kansas, Kerry Livgren, mm -hmm. who yeah. wrote Dust in the Wind, yeah. and Kerry on yeah. I managed him, and, yeah, you know, Cindy Mer Bird's song of the Supremes, I, oh I managed goodness. her. But I had a good a good background, but uh, it wasn't until 2010. Uh, uh, I've got four sons, and two of them are in the business, and two of them are taking care of the money. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I took the two. I go, you, you guys, I'm gonna catch up with you later. <laughs> but uh, but you guys uh, uh, that are the creative types, uh, my son Dustin uh, had won awards as a, uh, a top video director here in Nashville, mm -hmm. and uh, it was our goal to. Uh, uh, find him the right property to direct as far as a motion picture. So we were looking in 2010, we started City of Peace Films, mm -hmm. and, um, and we were looking for the right project that would be uh, faith-friendly, right. uh, would reach out to the mainstream, yet be an encouragement to Christians, yet have music and so on and so forth. Yeah. And we, we found this great screenplay and uh, called The Identical, uh, written by Wade Cummins, um, uh, who lives in Lebanon, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and uh, we brought in a, uh, a writer, Howard Klausner, who did, who did uh, Space Cowboys with Clint Eastwood, and uh, also the Grace Card and some other on the faith side, and uh, we dove into our very first uh, movie. Well, you know, you have uh, such a message in here regarding not only the music, but religion and how the two meet or how they, you know, push away from each other. Yeah. Talk to us about how you were able to get that in here and, and what brought that about for you. Well, you know, part of the criteria in doing films with City of Peace Films is we want to have redeeming value mm -hmm. running through our films, mm -hmm. whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I differentiate between faith-based and faith-friendly. Uh, we are not a faith-based film, meaning... Uh -huh. Uh, if God's not dead or, or fireproof or courageous, these are faith-based films. They're primarily geared up uh, the gospel from beginning to end and really being an encouragement in the lives of believers. Uh, the secular world doesn't go to them a whole lot. That's right. You know? mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we wanted to make something that would go after them. Well, in order to do that, you better have some music that's popping. You better have some great acting, which we do. Ray Liotta, Ashley mm -hmm. Judd, mm -hmm. Seth Green, you know, Joe Pantoliano. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and uh, you better have a message that they can relate to. Uh, right. Joe Pantoliano said to me, what I love about this film, Yokanon, is it's where people are living in their everyday lives. Correct. And, and really, that's the combination that we were looking for. Right. And that's ministry. That's what Jesus did. Jesus took it out into the marketplace. He Absolutely. made it, you know, and put it in such a way, in a vernacular that people understood. 
you know, when we take a look at the scripture, we think of, you know what, you know, this whole, you know, uh, 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 sowing the seed and everything else. But that's where they lived. You know, they were an agricultural society. Absolutely. And so we look at scripture and we think of it as scripture. But the reality is that he was talking to common day, everyday people. Also, you know, I think with what you're saying, a lot of people who deal with Christian films or, like you said, faith-based or those kind yeah. of things. Faith-friendly versus faith-based, right. faith yeah. They don't understand sometimes the, the rightness of a good secular PG or G movie. Absolutely. Talk to us about... Christians need to understand getting over to the secular world, not only in the excellence, but in a principle-centered way that they can bring them in, even unknowingly. Give us a little insight to that. Well, you know, uh, there was a movie called Unbroken. It's a great movie. I'd recommend people to see it. However, uh, you know, I've done the research and know some people that actually knew the man, you know, that, that, uh, that his life was about. And... Uh, he had, man, he got radically saved. Correct. It didn't come out in the movie that mm -hmm. way. I mean, they alluded to that, but in, in real life, right. he I know for a fact he said, please don't back off on this. Mm -hmm. Of course, you they know, did. Hollywood backed I, off, but they I'm not going to back off the Amen. city of peace. We're going to say it like it is, Amen. and because I want to see, that was a perfect example of, a, of how God by divine providence saved that man's life. That's right. Man, people need to know that. That's right. You know, and, right. and we hope to do the same, you know. Well, you know, we appreciate what you're doing, you know, and, and I, I know there's a whole lot more music in you, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I know you got the bug, but there's more music. Do you see yourself getting involved in any of that anytime soon as well, or, or have you, you know, kind of put that to the side in order to do the film? Uh, no, I mean, I'm always open uh, to the right projects and right situation. We just want to feel like, you know, um, you know, brother, you, I think you understand where I'm going to come out, come at you with this statement, and that is that uh, you know we have to, uh, we only have so much time on this planet. Optimum. It's a short stay on planet Earth, and I, you know, when you're younger, you know, everything's, you know, we just try anything, you do it. As you get older, you want to be more focused about doing what God wants you to do. I don't want to waste any time. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to, I want to. I want to focus in, and if it's music, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's uh, if it's if it's film, I want to do that. Right, amen. Well, that's what it's all about, and we want you to know these are the kind of films that are being made. These are the stories that are being told. These are the principles that are being put in them. And not only are men like uh, Yokanan doing that, but you can do that as well. God has a gift and a talent inside of you. He wants to use it for his glory. Don't let anybody else tell you that it cannot be done. Amen. God will back it up if you will just give yourself to it. I'm Apostle C. Until next time, this is DYOBB, and we love you. God bless. God bless you.